Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to access one computer's hard drive from another computer on your local network. And this is a Windows feature, you don't have to install anything or download anything. So the situation for me was, I had a desktop with a fairly large hard drive and I bought a laptop. Well, I need to be able to edit my video that's already on my desktop from my laptop. So. I'm going to show you what my setup is really quick, just as a, a demo, and after that I'll show you how to do it. This is unscripted, so bear with me, but you can see here, I have my, de my this is my desktop, what you're looking at, and I have my SSD, my data drive, which I can access now from my laptop, and then I have my actual laptop's hard drive, or its data drive, and I can access that from my desktop. So if I open my documents, this is my laptop's my documents. If I were to make a new document, I'll show you this with the camera now. If I were to make a new document, it then appears on my laptop. See that? And then I'm going to delete it on my desktop and it disappears on the laptop. So I can do, I can edit any file, modify anything I want from my desktop but it, the files are on the laptop, and vice versa. I could edit files that are on my desktop from my laptop. So now I'm going to cover how to do this. If you're doing an entire drive, <clears throat> you can't do it the simple way. The simple way would be to go to some folder and go to share with either home group or specific people. In my case it would be me. But you can't do that with an entire drive. So what you have to do is go to your hard drive that you want to share, go to properties, then sharing, and this will be grayed out go to advanced sharing click this share this folder and then you can name it something at that point I believe and then go to permissions this is where you set who all can access it so I have myself as the only person that can access it and I have myself <clears throat> having full control if I wanted to add someone else <clears throat> if I wanted to add someone else, I would go to I would go to that. In this object types, you want to add your user. So just uncheck those. <clears throat> and then go to advanced. And it should still say users. Click find now. That finds all the users that are currently available that it knows of. That's my account. I would click OK, but I already have done all this. And it'll 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 do its thing. I'll show you with a folder just to clarify. I'm gonna share the Premiere Projects file. So sharing advanced sharing click share the folder I want it to be called Premiere Projects I go to permissions and everyone can access this at the current at its current state so I want to remove that because I don't want anyone but myself to be able to access it so I'm going to add advanced object types deselect everything except users 
then find all the users just don't worry about any of this in the middle and you're gonna select whatever your account is and then click OK and it should put it in there then click OK again and give yourself the permissions that you want and then click OK and OK again close that and now if you go to network you can see your own computer here you're now sharing that to your account this will work with any computer on your network so long as you're logged into your account your Microsoft account if you did it this way and so maybe you want it to show up here as a drive like this is all you have to do is excuse me well this isn't gonna be here by default you're gonna have to click on computer up here but just click map network drive and then select whatever letter you want it to be I'll go with uh, Y folder Premiere projects now give it a few seconds it'll open it but that's not what we want and now it's here and you can access you can access that folder as if it were a hard drive or you could just make a shortcut within this but I just did that for demonstration to show you how to do it and anything you change in here will be changed on that hard drive in real time and that's pretty much it I thought that was so cool it's uh, really really useful for me because my desktop is in my basement and I don't like having to be down here all the time when I'm editing it's kinda annoying if you want to get rid of this you can just right click and click disconnect and then it'll kinda it'll kinda be weird for a minute gotta give it a little bit of time close it and then reopen it and I think that should be it yeah yeah now it's disconnected and if you want to unshare it completely because it's still still shared it just isn't mapped as a drive you can go to properties sharing advanced sharing and then just uncheck that and if you clicked OK that would unshare it completely and undo everything that you did so I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna use this but I believe I believe that is the end of the tutorial Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully that was useful.